very good morning to both the classes 9th c and 9th d as well this is a combined class fine in both the sections chapter reading has been done if i were you this is the last chapter of your syllabus of this uh, uh, term fine and the bida four questions were discussed yesterday so we will be continuing from question number 5 i'll be speaking the question you just raise your hand i'll uh, unmute you then you can answer okay and make sure because this is the last topic you will be completing this today by all means tomorrow is a notebook checking uh, final checking also uh, i'll do tomorrow okay so please bring complete notebook if any topic was left please complete it because after tomorrow i won't be checking it make sure Question number fifth: You'll soon stop being smart. Who says this, and why does the speaker say it? Three parts are there. Firstly, okay, only one child will speak all the parts, so that time is saved. You can raise your hand. Those who know the answer, you'll stop. You will soon stop being smart. Who says this? Why does the speaker say it? and what according to the speaker will stop girard from being smart anybody can answer this question raise your hand beta 9090 both two classes are there nobody is raising hand see nobody knows the answer to this come on Okay, first student is the Tiksha. Okay, the Tiksha, just make it brief because this is short question. Ma'am, please repeat which question we have to answer. The question number fifth. You will soon stop being smart. Who says? Okay, ma'am. Intruder says this. Why does the speaker say it? He says it because he had uh, does not seem to be afraid of gun. Gun. What according to the speaker will stop Gerard from being smart? Smart. According to the speaker, the bullet will stop Gerard from being smart. Yes. Uh, exactly correct answer. You can mute yourself, beta. So, uh, you will soon stop being smart. Intruder says this. Okay. And why does he say so? Uh, the speaker says it because he wants to. Uh, because he Gerard does not, you know, seem to be afraid. Clear? Yeah. So he was not at all scared of intruder. A person is coming to your house to murder you, and he doesn't seem to be even scared. So he says it because Gerard does not seem afraid of his gun even. Then what? According to the speaker, will stop Gerard from being smart. According to the speaker, the bullet will stop Gerard from being smart rather than gun bullet. Because he says that I will be shooting you and all. In that way, bullet. Will stop, or you can say gun also. Both will be correct. Gun and bullets will stop Gerard from being smart. Okay. Sixth question is: They cannot hang me twice. Who says this? Why does the speaker say it? Two parts are there. Yes, Lisa. Yes, Vita. Lisa, you have unmuted. Please speak. So I guess some technical fault might be there. Uh, Lisa, if you want to answer kindly, answer. Otherwise, I can give it to some other student. Raise your hand. Any other child, Vita? The Diksha is done, so no other chance to save student. Yes, Vita, speak. I guess some problem is there from your side, okay? So uh, I'll be giving answer to this. Fine. Uh, they can't hang me twice. Actually, the intruder says this when he discloses. Yes, uh, right answer, Lisa. You have typed in the chat box. The intruder says this, and why does he say so? Uh, he says it because he wants to murder Gerard, and he has already murdered someone. He told him that I have already murdered someone. If I murder you, they cannot hang me twice. Punishment will be the same for one murder or for the two murders also. 
So police cannot hand him coins in that way. Yes, the Tiksha, correct answer. Those who are typing in the chat box, well done. The speaker says it because he wants to murder Jirat and he has already murdered someone else. So the police cannot hang me twice for doing same crime again. Clear? Seventh question. A mystery I propose to explain. What is the mystery the speaker proposes to explain? Yes, raise your hand. Only one child is giving all the answers. What about others? Gushan Singh of 9C. 9C also, but I participate. You have done reading of this chapter. This is not only 9th D will speak. 9C can also raise hand. Both the classes participate equally. Divya, Dharya. It seems to be the tough question for you. Only two children, same children, are writing in the chat box and raising hand in Yanama. So, uh, after this, I'll be naming the child who will unmute to speak, okay? So, mystery, I propose to explain. The speaker wants that the intruder should explain what mystery is associated with him, right? The mystery is about Girard's placing his orders on telephone and he goes out, uh, out of the house suddenly and comes back within a few minutes. That is the mystery. You know, yesterday we discussed that why, uh, the reason why intruder takes, wanted to take the identity of Girard because Girard was a very mysterious person, right? So that was the reason firstly and mystery is associated with about Girard's placing his orders on phone and he goes out of suddenly of the house and he returns within a few minutes. So that is the mystery. Speaker wants that intruder should explain what mystery is associated with him. Okay. This is your big surprise. Question number eight. Please raise your hand everyone. Those who know the answer. Divya, next question goes to you. Yes, raise your hand. New students. This is your big surprise. Yes, very good. When uh, Girard tells intruder that uh, he is also he has also murdered someone then he uses this is your big surprise okay and uh, both the questions you answered they're not asking for the speaker where has this been said in the play you have to answer this surprise you have covered up this is your big surprise so surprise is that gerard will not be killed by him he's right in his saying this I guess you have some confusion about this. Okay. This is your big surprise. Where has this been said in the play? Girard speaks this line. Okay. And he tells the intruder that if he is not hanged for his murder, he will certainly be hanged being Girard or being Vincent Charles Girard. Yeah. So, uh, where has this been line said? At this time, he utters this, these words. So, you have to tell exactly the time when these words were spoken or uttered. Clear? I repeat, if you have any confusion, uh, where has this been said in the play? Girard speaks this line, okay? He tells the intruder that if he is not hanged for his murder, he will definitely be hanged as, uh, as Girard, okay? At this time, he utters these words. This is your big surprise. And the second part of the question is, what is the big surprise? The big surprise is that Gerard will not be killed by him. He's right in saying this. Right? Then page number 145 of your book. Yes, children? 
those who are there in the gallery if you have seen uh, keep on sending your consent you are listening those who are listening send your thumbs up jaldi se those who are listening send your thumbs up jaldi se fine all of you know thank you so uh, page number 145 beta consult your dictionary and choose the correct word from the peers given in brackets correct word from the page very easy if anybody wants to answer this very easy i'm giving you time you can solve on your book also side by side ek bhi aata hai to you can raise your hand first answer you can speak see in the first is sentence the site of accident was ghastly or ghostly the first word is s i t e or c i t e you have to tell that only and in the second ghastly or ghostly Yeah, you have to tell the correct answer. Jaldi se raise your hand. This is very easy exercise. Very easy. Yes. Answer this, beta. Lisa, you are writing all the answers. Yes, Jia has raised the hand. Very good. New students should speak. Yes, beta, speak. Ma'am, site S I T E. Very good. Ghastly, G H E S. Yes, ghastly is the right answer. The site of the accident was ghastly. Means it was very. Uh, ghastly is not ghostly. Okay, ghosts are not involved here. It was very. Uh, you can say destructive in that way. So S I T E and G H E. Second one. Our college principal, P A L. Yes, our college principal, P A L, is the right answer. Take it on your book only, beta. This is not to be done on the notebook. Just directly solve it on the book. Third one, Jia. I studied continuously. C O N T I N U S L Y. Fine, बिल्कुल ठीक. I studied continuously. Second is continually. Continually is not correct here. first option continue read take it on your book fourth one the, the fog had an adverse effect e w f yes what is the difference between affect and effect effect is noun and affect is verb so here we are going to take e f f e c t the fog had an adverse effect on the traffic fifth one a r t i s t artist yes brilliant artist first one a r t i s t first option is the correct answer sixth one beta extraordinary college c o w l, -L a g e so c o l l e g e college fine and seventh one our school will host h o s t yes host is the correct answer eighth one the bottle and shake s h a k e s h a k e You can read yourself. Well done. All the words correctly spelled. Okay. So now, uh, any other child would like to continue with the next question? Now, better on same page we have the question. Irony. Irony is when we say one thing but we mean another thing. Firstly, let's discuss that. What is irony? When I say something else, fine, but mean another. Meaning is something else which is very opposite to what I said. Then it is. I said this is very ironical. Means I'm saying something else. The meaning of that statement is something else. Fine. Usually the opposite of what we say. So whatever I'm saying. Actually, I cannot opposite charge people, but can it put on me? Clear? That is called irony. We will do examples, and it will be clear to you. When someone makes a mistake, and you say, "Oh, that was clever," right? This is the example of irony. Somebody has made a mistake. Rather than saying, "Oh, you made a mistake," oh, that's very clever. How good in that way? Opposite, you are saying. So this is the example of, right? In that way. Then after that, tone of voice also matters in the this uh, term in this device of irony. The way you speak. Now, what you have to do in this exercise? Read 
the plate here we can find the words and expression girard uses in an ironic way then say what these expression really mean so two examples they have already given in the book beta you can see why this is a surprise mr fine or meaning uska given hai he pretends that intruder is a social visitor whom he is welcoming in this way he hides the fear second example is also given at last a sympathetic audience he pretends that the intruder wants to listen to him fine so now they have given three more to us we are supposed to solve this anybody would like to answer this one or shall i continue No raising hand. Teacher, you cannot answer. Or already answered. Students will not give. I want to give chance to new students. Fine. Okay. At last, a sympathetic audience. What he means? The statement is given. At last, a sympathetic audience. Uh, Gerard means that his company is not a sympathetic audience because the intruder has got a gun in his hand. Okay, so this is what he means actually. Gerard means that his company is not a sympathetic one because intruder has got a gun in his hand. Clear? कहना तो उसको चाहिए था ना that you are not being sympathetic. But he is saying, what a sympathetic audience. तो उल्टा कह रहा है उसको. This is the example of Iron. Second is you have been so modest. Gerard. means that the intruder has been immodest in not having uh, told anything about himself so intruder apne bare mein kuch nahi bata raha tha he was not telling anything about his life his personal life is uh, right so in that way he was being immodest clear yeah? you have been so modest ka opposite kya ho gaya gerard means that intruder has been immodest by not giving his information to him third is with you withering so largely in it that is understandable what it means this is the word given in the book with you withering so largely in it that is understandable gerard means that it is not understandable how anything about him is surprising it is not understandable that anything about him is surprising clear yeah? Next one is the usage of dictionary only. Better that you can do on your own. Fine, each and every exercise need not do because irony का meaning आपको नहीं clear था that we have done. In this beta, actually, you need to use the dictionary. They have given nouns. Fine. First one, I will tell you how to do it. Then you will do on your own. First word is sympathy. You need to write adjective of sympathy, adverb of sympathy, verb of sympathy. And its meaning also. So they have made a column in, in on the book itself. We have to do. We not do in the pair notebook, right? So book ke upar hi karna hai. Poor first word is sympathy. Now adjective of sympathy is sympathetic. I say na that person is very sympathetic. Means I am highlighting the quality of that person. Sympathetic is the adjective. Adverb. In adverb we usually add ly at the end. Okay. Sympathetically. So sympathetically will be adverb of the word sympathy, and verb. Verbs are the action words. When we use verbs in the sentence, fine. I say I sympathize with you. I sympathize with you. That is the example of verb. So the word sympathize is the example of verb. And what is the meaning of sympathy? Who will tell me? Very easy it is. Anybody can speak. What is the meaning of sympathy? Raise your hands. Very easy question I have asked. I guess everybody should raise hand for this. What is the meaning of sympathy? Yes, Vidya Chetanya. Janvi and Jia. This is the name. Two students. Yes, Vidya. Feeling of pity or sorrow for someone. Okay, very good. So, feeling pity for someone is the correct answer. Feeling pity for others. Sorrow word we cannot use here. Yes, we feel bad for others, but pity is the exact word. When feeling pity for others is the meaning of sympathy. Correct. In that way, let's do it. Then, if you uh, are writing on the book itself, familiarity is the second word. 
फेमिलियरिटी एडजेक्टिव ऑफ फेमिलियरिटी इज फेमिलियर आई एम फेमिलियर टू हिम आई एम फेमिलियर वर्ड देन अगेन एडवर्ब विल बी फेमिलियरली एल वाई एड कर देना आपने बस एंड वर्ब विल बी फेमिलियराइज I want you to familiarize with the head of this institution. Familiarize that becomes the verb here. Yes. What is the meaning of the word familiar or familiarity? Anyone? Yes, beta. Ma'am, familiar means to be uh, be friendly with someone. Uh, okay so to uh, know or to have knowledge about someone or something clear yeah, to have knowledge about someone or something or to know someone familiarity <coughs> third word is comfort adjective of comfort is comfortable adverb will be comfortably and word uh, you can say verb remains the same comfort for this word verb does not change comfort word hi rehta hai What is the meaning of comfort? <coughs> meaning of comfort, very easy word. You know that in exams you will be having synonyms, antonyms, word meanings. Please work upon this with simple vocabulary. With there, so you get tough one. Yes, students. What is the meaning of word comfort? It's like state being free from suffering. Out of worries is right answer. The answer is out of worries. Okay. So next word is care. Care is the word. Adjective is caring. Adverb will be carefully. Verb again remains the same. Care. And what is the meaning of care? When we are concerned about someone, right? Concerned is the right meaning. Then we have the word surprise. Adjective is surprising. Adverb is surprisingly. and verb will be surprise again if i say i gave you one surprise as a noun also we can use it i say i surprised you i'm using surprise as verb also okay so meaning of surprise is yes in the chat box some students are writing yes it means surprise means amazed astonished right No, but a shock that cannot be there. Okay, surprises. Uh, shock is in the negative sense. Okay, surprises. You are amazed to see something. You can be surprised to see something first in that way, right? So amazed or you can say amused also. Yes, sometimes we use, but it depends upon the context basically. Now page one forty seven. Speaking skill is there that you can uh, practice at home accordingly. Enactment in the play and all this is not to be done. Find in the book. Now uh, another question is which of the words below describe Gerard and which describe the intruder? Anybody can tell me. There are nine words written. Uh, words are smart, beautiful, flashy, humorous, cool, witty, clever, confident, nonchalant. nobody okay let's so gerard let's talk about gerard first then we will talk about intruder so gerard was smart yes gerard was humorous yes gerard was confident yes he was witty witty means the person was very intelligent yes and he was clever also so gerard was cool also right so many traits you can give it to gerard but less uh, will be given to intruder because gerard has played the hero of this play So when the intruder broke into, then you will give textual evidence. But our textual evidence means you will prove that how these points are uh, we have given to Gerard are true. So firstly, we will say Gerard was smart, humorous, confident, witty, and clever. He was cool also. And when the intruder broke into his cottage, he did not lose his patience. He maintained his composure. He maintained his calm. Right and confidence, and he looked cooked up a story. It shows he was very witty and clever, and he convinced the intruder. Ha! Uh, he got rid of him. He showed his presence of mind and intelligence. All these traits are true. Next is intruder. Intruder was smart. Yes, 
flashy and clever. Flashy is the person who shows off. Uh, flashy is the person who shows off. So yes, uh, Infinity was praising himself again and again. Like I have done murder, I can do that, I can do this, I'm very clever and he was showing it off. So he was flashy. He was confident and clever, yes. He was not a fool, but yes, uh, uh, Girard was uh, better than him. Girard was more intelligent than Guti. But yes, he was intelligent. He collected much information. How does he prove it? We can prove it by saying that he collected much information about Girard. Okay? And he wore flashy clothes when he entered. And uh, he uh, had the ability to make someone afraid of him. He was clever enough to, uh, you know, present himself in a that way. Moreover, he was witty also and answered Girard's questions intelligently and sarcastically. That shows that he was also of equal level. But uh, who was able to outwit him? Girard was able to outwit him. Clear? Next is very important thing now. Uh, both the sections. Is that not what you have to do? You have to do the story writing syllabus. Clear? Because your notebooks are already checked and it's done. But even then, I want you people to add up this question. Convert the play into a story. 150 to 200 words. Your story should be as exciting and as witty as the play. Provide a suitable title to it. Now, you have to do story writing. Bhi hai. Okay, so you will do this question also. You will write a story, and the story should be like that. You can you can keep a title. Intelligence is powerful than strength. Uh, there is one saying in Hindi. Bal badaya buddhi. In Hindi we say it means we see we measure the intelligence by the size of a person. Or the, how intelligent, sometimes the person is not that huge and tall and uh, fine in that way, but even then the person is so intelligent. Yeah? So you have to write a story and you will be using same characters, okay? Gerard and uh, you can change also. I'm giving you the right, okay? So yes, equanimity is the greatest weapon. You can write Yanshika very good. Fine, you will write this story. Intelligence is powerful than strength. You have to prove at the end that yes, intelligence is much better than physical strength. That should be the conclusion of the story. Okay. So you can add up more characters. You can use same characters also. Fine. Or you can use the same story, but by adding up your own elements also. Yes, Tiksha, I'm uh, going to give you the answer. Okay. So in that way, you will be writing a story and that is the end of your syllabus also.